St. Sophroni the Athenite Prayer at Daybreak O Lord, eternal and creator of all things, who of thine inscrutable goodness didst call me to this life, who didst bestow on me the grace of baptism and the seal of the Holy Spirit, who hast imbued me with the desire to seek thee, the one true God, hear my prayer. I have no life, no light, no joy or wisdom, no strength except in thee, O God. Because of my unrighteousness, I dare not raise my eyes to thee. But thou didst say to thy disciples, Whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer believing, ye shall receive. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. Wherefore I dare to invoke thee, Purify me from all taint of flesh and spirit. Teach me to pray aright. Bless this day which thou dost give unto me, thine unworthy servant. By the power of thy blessing, enable me at all times to speak and act to thy glory with a pure spirit, with humility, patience, love, gentleness, peace, courage, and wisdom, aware always of thy presence. Of thine immense goodness, O Lord God, show me the path of thy will, and grant me to walk in thy sight without sin. O Lord, unto whom all hearts be open, thou knowest what things I have need of. Thou art acquainted with my blindness and my ignorance. Thou knowest mine infirmity and my soul's corruption. But neither are my pain and anguish hid from thee. Wherefore I beseech thee, hear my prayer, and by thy Holy Spirit teach me the way wherein I should walk. And when my perverted will would lead me down other paths, spare me not, O Lord, but force me back to thee. By the power of thy love, grant me to hold fast to that which is good. Preserve me from every word or deed that corrupts the soul, from every impulse unpleasing in thy sight and hurtful to my brother man. Teach me what I should say, and how I should speak. If it be thy will that I make no answer, inspire me to keep silent in a spirit of peace that causeth neither sorrow nor hurt to my fellow. Establish me in the path of thy commandments, and to my last breath let me not stray from the light of thine ordinances, that thy commandments may become the sole law of my being on this earth and in all eternity. Yea, Lord, I pray thee, Have pity on me. Spare me in mine affliction and my misery, and hide not the way of salvation from me. In my foolishness, O God, I plead with thee for many and great things. Yet I am ever mindful of my wickedness, my baseness, my vileness. Have mercy upon me. Cast me not away from thy presence because of my presumption. Do thou rather increase in me this presumption, and grant unto me the worst of men, to love thee as thou hast commanded, with all my heart, and with all my soul, and with all my mind, and with all my strength, with my whole being. Yea, O Lord, by thy Holy Spirit, teach me good judgment and knowledge. Grant me to know thy truth before I go down into the grave. Maintain my life in this world until I may offer unto thee worthy repentance. Take me not away in the midst of my days nor while my mind is still blind. When thou shalt be pleased to bring my life to an end, forewarn me that I may prepare my soul to come before thee. Be with me, O Lord, at that dread hour, and grant me the joy of salvation. Cleanse thou me from secret faults, from all iniquity that is hid in me, and give me a right answer before thy judgment seat. Yea, Lord, of thy great mercy and immeasurable love for mankind. Hear my prayer.